Africa is full of NGOs, ONGs, non-governmental organizations, and normally they have the most expensive SUV possible with the least amount of functional utility valuable items. This to me is the ideal NGO vehicle. It's got a, a cab in the front. It can carry four to six people, and it's got a way to haul stuff. The idea that you're coming to do work and development and you have no ability to haul things in Africa is almost just crazy. Um, what I'm trying to say is, is that obviously you didn't come to do work on development and planning and doing all these things if you have no way. Africa has, it's very quite, it's quite difficult to move things from one location to another location. So. Uh, having a truck is the one good reason to buy a vehicle in Africa. Uh, buying a Toyota Land Rover with uh, air conditioning and thing is just conspicuous consumption is just bullshit. This is your ideal NGO vehicle because they really do. You know, you would have to haul different things to a remote village, and the coordination of doing everything uh, would be quite difficult. Toi c'est le chauffeur. Chauffeur. Et toi? Is this your car? Is this your car? Is this your car? You come in this car? I'm in the uh, Hotel Bellevue in uh, Natungu, Benin, West Africa. This is a UNICEF vehicle. I'll show you up close and the local guys not uh, it's not Europeans or anything they came to the bouvet to drink beer and as normal you can always find them in the you know the best bars in any city <laughs>